Folks, in today's video, I've got a uh, walk around tour of a 2022 Jayco Seneca Prestige. I actually delivered this coach to some customers Monday. Uh, I just wanted to make a walk around and kind of share it with anybody that might be looking at a similar model. Uh, so let's cut right to it. Thanks for the view. Well, we'll start off with the front. We've got a uh, full width chrome bumper. Uh, obviously, you've got the chrome Freightliner grill and the one piece fiberglass molded hood uh, it's also a m2 style freightliner front end you've got six seven cummins in there with 360 horsepower and a six speed allison you've got a one piece fiberglass nose cone that comes back and meets the main body right behind the driver's cab it's all sealed unit with a bunkhouse uh, you've got a heated and motorized mirror on each side with a convex mirror below that. This unit is built on the S2 RV Freightliner custom chassis. Uh, you've got your guide poles. This previous gentleman added to this unit so you could locate the front end. You've actually got low pro 225 tires, the 275 80 225, which is a very common size with your Alcoa Freightliner style wheel. Move on, you've got your LED turn signal. You've got your hood latch, your rubber style truck hood latch. You've got a one piece molded two step uh, entry step with your DEF tank incorporated. Um, this paint scheme is called the Acadia. Jayco uses an awesome blend of paint, uh, high, high shine. It stays soft for the life of, of the coach. So it should hopefully does not do the paint checking. Um, you've got the picture frame style room slide out. Around the perimeter you can kind of see the trim around the slide out itself. The previous gentleman had added these two marker lights. Uh, one is a turn signal, one is a marker. He did the same on the mid and the rear all the way around the coach. This is your left hand um, camera. So when you turn the left turn signal on, your left camera will turn on. So you can see cars approaching. Beautiful coach. You've got uh, seamless win or frameless windows with your awning toppers that were aftermarket. In this bay, you've got your batteries, your house and your chassis. You actually have four house batteries with two chassis. And a few breakers and shut off. Your chassis shut off is actually in this bay also. Uh, in the next bay, you'll find the back side of that shut off with a power distribution. And in behind this vertical carpet right here, there's actually four 150 amp breakers and a fuse box. So if you ever have any issues, like your solar is actually powered from there, as well as your solar charge controllers in that bay on the front wall. Uh, here's the mid marker and turn Here's a slide out tray the Customer may have added this you could add an ever chill or a Dometic fridge freezer The customer did add this pneumatic port one on this side one to match it on the opposing side There's your chrome exhaust tip for the engine Allegedly the gentleman had that raised he did not like the height of that one Here's the rear of the slide, the picture frame uh, perimeter of the slide. Here's your drive duels, which are also low pro 225, 275, 80, 225 with Alcoa uh, aluminum inner and outer. This is your electric cord. Your uh, It's an electric reel, and there's two remotes for this electric reel. And with this uh, black metal slide out also. Um, there's also the pass through so your cord can go through and still be sealed off Which is a nice feature instead of having a cut out in the weather stripping You've got a one-piece fiberglass molded fender skirt over the duels This is actually your um, fuel neck this unit only has the one on the driver's side This is your water bay as you can see, 
um, you have the four dial set up for winterized, sanitized, city, or tank fill. You've got a black tank flush and your city connection. You've got a macerator factory installed, which the hose is on the other side. You've got a black tank one and black tank two selection. And this gentleman had also added an extra water pump. So it actually has two water pumps. Um, he had also added this oversized fresh water filter, as you can see, much larger than the factory. And this uh, retractable hose reel, which set him back a pretty good chunk of money. Uh, they had to reinforce the floor to do so. PEX pipe with shutoff valves plumbed in. This is your sewer connection, as well as your low point drain. And that's your, your fresh water filter. This unit's been winterized, so we always pull the filter out of it. Once again, this is your black tank selector. You have two black tanks on this unit, so if you're going to flush the tanks, you'll have to use one or two. There's the gray tank valve. And there's your dump valve, your last dump valve. Moving on to this bay, you have an 8000 Onan diesel generator. This unit only has 80 hours. It's like brand new still. Um, we did a, did a service on this unit. In this final bay on your driver's side, you have an Aquahot 250D. This actually is the coach's um, version of a furnace. This unit has heated floors as well as this is your uh, hot water heater for the unit. So it's on demand tankless but it uses diesel to heat the boiler fluid and a heat exchanger here's your two rear mark one rear marker one rear turn signal once again this is a beautiful coach absolutely nothing wrong with it plenty of windows to let in natural light you've got a rear ladder to climb onto the roof no hang on a rear window out of the bathroom uh your hitch on the back, uh, I think it was rated. Well, I have to check and see what it is rated, and I'll attach that. On the passenger side here, you've got the rear turn and marker that the gentleman had added. Another, you've got another slide out for the bedroom picture frame style, also that is the bed slide out. Here's a dry storage. Decent size. Here's actually your macerator hose, one of the satellites for this unit. In the top right corner of this bay, you have your black water tank number two and your gray tank handle. You've also got on this door a storage for two sewer hoses, which is nice. That's not very common on most units. In this next bay, you'll see your fresh water tank as well as some storage below it. You've got a slide out tray in this door as well as the door in front of this. Makes for easy access to your storage. And then also your black tank number one handle. You'll have another pull-out uh, tray with pass-through storage here, roughly 14 inches tall. Uh, that's a nice feature in this unit. You will not get this with any other Class C, and most Super Cs do not have this also. As well as the pneumatic port that this individual had added. This is a nice feature. You've got a handrail, as well as a three-step entry step to get up into this coach. So it makes it really easy in and out of this coach. In this bay, you've got this custom built um, outdoor kitchen. I'm assuming that the gentleman had this built butcher block style slide out in the center, six drawers worth of storage, as well as this pneumatic regulator and 110 uh, plug outlet that he added in each bay, actually. So this actually makes for a nice way to organize your out outdoor kitchen it is also mounted on a moorride 
um, pull out tray to make it easy access. Nice little addition that uh, this gentleman had built. And also you have your outdoor entertainment. About a 35-40 inch TV with your two speakers, 110 plugs, and a JBL head unit. Um, and then one USB port also. So as you can see, there's the three outside entry steps. And then we've got three inside entry steps to make it easy uh, to climb in this coach. As you enter this coach on your left hand, there's a master light switch. We're going to go ahead and hit the light master. So as you can see, this whole coach is done in this super high gloss finish. All the wood, all the cabinets. You've got access under your sink to all your plumbing. And this previous owner had installed this in sink dishwasher and actually had opened the hole up to a larger size to have the two two sinks instead of the single. As you can see, you've got a window shade, and he also had added this TV above the entry door. And there's also a entry closet right here, like a coat closet, which is unique to these Senecas. That will keep you from having to carry, you know, your coats all the way back to the bedroom like in just about every Class A. So it does give you a pretty good advantage. As you can see, you've got your Vega Touch screen where you can slide your slides out, your awnings, you control your solar. You can see your tank monitors. You can do the automatic generator start. You can turn any light in the coach on or off. And there's also your Xantrax monitor below the Vega Touch. As you can see, you have your overhead bed, which you'll have this section comes drops down. And then you've got your ladder to get up there. And also you've got this shade, this roller shade. When it's open, you have a huge window to view out of. Sometimes in these Jayco's and Integra's, they're a little bit slow going up, but they usually go down pretty fast. Plenty of room for two people with USBs and 110 plugs on each side. So now we're going to go ahead and slide the slides out. And like I said, here's another view of your Xantrax um, monitor. It'll tell you your battery voltage as well as the load, and it'll show you whether it's passing through the inverter. So now I'll give you a look at the cabin. The driver's cabin has plenty of room. You don't have that big, giant, oversized windshield like in the Class A, but you still do have plenty of windshield to see. You've got heated mirrors on both sides, motorized. They've got very good seats, much better than what would, you would find in your commercial truck of the same sort. Very similar to what you'd find in a Class A. Um, plenty of foot room in this coach. Everything's accessible from the driver's seat. You've got a touch screen. Radio does not have navigation, which surprised me. You've got the equalizer leveling system. Your air brakes, of course. Your climate control. Um, this is one of the benefits of the Super C over the Class C is the space, you know, the passenger has to get to the back and the driver for making entry and re-entry much easier. It's a deal killer for me on a class, most Class C's because it is so tight. So now we'll start in the front. This front upper and lower cabinet has all kind of space. Um probably two feet deep and then you move on to your dinette that actually folds down to make into a bed probably for two people more than likely one uh, with seat belts at each one you know you've got all the overhead storage then you've got this couch with power reclining it's electric uh, you can run it off of your inverter it will work just off of the inverter only Get a look at these extremely glossy floors. The ceramic tile they chose is perfect. That's actually what sold these people on this unit over another year. Here's another look at these that high gloss finish on these cabinets and woodworking. Uh, plenty of overhead storage. You got shades over each window, day and night shades. 
you got a pocket door there and there's your mid bathroom upper storage 40 inch tv your media hub as well as a electric fireplace with seven different settings of flame and then you've got this huge residential style refrigerator with four doors and the neat feature of this is the bottom right door can also be refrigerator not just freezer you got a convection microwave more cabinet space window in the kitchen which is an awesome feature we got an induction top stove underneath that custom made uh, butcher block style cover you got the end sink dishwasher like i said the previous gentleman had installed you just, which still leaves you one good size sink and this actually helps with the lack of counter space in this unit so the gentleman had this made uh, on the paperwork it was like five hundred dollars what he paid to have that butcher block cover made to cover this Curon induction uh, stove top you've got storage here and on the other side of the window a little small cubby hole to put maybe spices or whatever you prefer to put in them now we'll move on to the bedroom like I said there's a pocket door right here to divide the front bedroom now this is your mid bathroom you've got a vanity you've got a medicine cabinet lower cabinet below the vanity you've got a regular toilet non macerating because you have a front and a rear black tank a wall mounted mirror and a good size window with a nightshade and then also you've got the max air fan which is also controlled from your vega touch as well as on the wall now in the bedroom this gentleman took the king bed and had it replaced with a queen and had it customized where it tilted up like this so you could walk through to get to the rear bathroom this upgrade cost him a tons of money i can't remember four or five thousand dollars to have the bed built and all customized but it also has the overhead storage the two reading lights 35 inch tv you've got a closet right there behind the mirror like a hanging closet um, you've got lower drawers upper and lower drawers I think six of those in total or four of those in total you've got the washer dryer back here um, you've also got a glass sliding shower with a skylight above this plenty tall I'm six foot tall and it's plenty tall you've got a regular toilet back here also non-electric uh, you've got a window in the back a medicine cabinet more storage double door storage with some drawers you've got a vanity 110 outlets uh, another pocket door to divide the bathroom from the bedroom and then like I said this front pocket door this is with the slide closed and I'm still able to walk through now this is your Whirlpool dryer and your Whirlpool washer it is not a combo unit like you will find in a lot of the Seneca, regular Senecas. So that's a benefit to a lot of people. Um, like I said, this coach is beautifully done. High gloss finish on everything in the unit. It's just well well built to look at and seems like the the products they use seem to be good quality well thanks for making it this far in the video folks if you want to see more stuff like this i can do more rv tours like and subscribe thanks again